three awesome sets of wireless microphones, some of the best on the market right now. Which one is the perfect for a vlogging setup? Let's inspect! Hey, welcome everyone, tech for our channel. My name is Michael, very nice to meet you. Today we're going to talk about wireless microphones and these which are the best choices for you in case you're a vlogger or a blogger or you, you just need to record audio like interviews and stuff and you look for good reliable wireless solutions. There are plenty on the market, some of them are extremely cheap, some of them are pretty high-end, very expensive. One thing for sure, right now the market seems to be ruled by Rode Wireless Go. But what if I tell you that there are great alternatives covering pretty much the same features and cost a lot less than the Wireless Go and indeed we're starting to review with the first contender which is called the Lark 150 which arrives in, in this lovely case so it, it's, um, it's a charging box it's something like a dog and just take it out and put it on your shirt and that's why today I've decided to pick a white t-shirt so that you can easily figure out what I'm recording with and right now this first section of the video is recorded through the wireless transmitter of the Lark 150 there it is it looks a bit ridiculous maybe if I clip it out and put it on the shirt it's going to look a lot better and throughout the whole video you would be able to follow up on which exact microphone I'm actually using. So now we keep on using the Lark 150. The device is designed by a company called Holyland. You may have heard of them or maybe not, but they're specialized in designing wireless transmitters, not only for audio, but also for video. I've actually reviewed one of their awesome gadgets in the past, the Mars 300, which is an HDMI based wireless video transmitter, which had mind blowing range so I was expecting to get really decent audio out of the equipment because with Holyland quality always comes first and is the top priority. If you look at the spec sheet of the Lark 150, it is the most thoroughly written documentation and has so many details about everything. The good features are obvious from the beginning. Look at the unboxing. I was a bit surprised to see such a big pack and also the rather heavy weight of it, but soon after that figured out that it's all about this. Actually, the Lark 150 is a set of two transmitters and a single receiver. They all arrive in this carrying case. And when we open the case, it's not just the perfect protection for the units, it's also a charging dock. So once you put everything back in, charging begins, take it out, and they're operation ready. Not that frequent charging here is so critical. The transmitter's battery life is rated at seven and a half hours, so it will take a long time until the battery is fully discharged. The receiver can work for four hours, but you can easily connect to a Type-C port and charge while you're recording. Now, this is not all of it. In fact, the receiver here functions as a mixer, so you can turn up or down the volume of each individual microphone and thanks to the status data, you can easily verify the levels and go for the optimums. It's a dual channel system and you could record in mono, both channels are mixed, or in stereo, where each transmitter uses a separate channel in the mix, and you can have much better options for post-production, manipulating each of the channels individually. It's one of the features that Rhodes advertise now with their Go 2, and this body here is on the market way before the Go 2 has appeared. In terms of performance, it's great, the audio quality is really superb and I very much like the build quality as well as the receiver, this option to fine-tune the volume so easily, that's an amazing feature. And so far you have the chance to hear both the transmitter and also a lovelier microphone connected to this transmitter. Uh, I've switched a few seconds ago and by the way this is a setup that I keep on using for the past maybe 10-15 episodes, it's super convenient and of course you can do it better by hiding the cables. Just wanted you to uh, see all of that here. Yes, that's the lovelier microphone connected to this small body and all of that is going to the receiver, reaching the camera and uh, that's everything interesting about the Lark 150. Probably the last thing I want to mention, it is the one with the least latency, just five milliseconds. As a second device to explore, and it's already mounted a bit bigger, that's the Comica Boom XD2, which arrives in this box. Um, and, and you can see here on the box written D2. Uh, that's another pretty nice device, again, working at the 2.4G spectrum. And this package contains two transmitters and one receiver. So again, it's 
perfect thing for interviews. Uh, interestingly, the D2 package is one of the many combos that you can buy and you can find more info about that on Comico's official website. The box looks great inside the transmitters, the receiver, good quality, apparently nice display on each of the units, but over here in terms of usability, I liked Holyland more because they have status LEDs and during the whole time you can just take a look and get info about the status. With the Boom XD it's a display, looks nice, has more info but you need visual contact so I would love to see LED info in the next generation. Again there's support for external lav mic, two of them arriving with the pack, wind muffs and everything that you need is a full box of accessories really good documentation. Using the Comica device was really easy, even without the user guide you can figure out what kind of things these buttons are doing. I was impressed by how quickly they can pair, it was usually taking around a second and when pairing completes the area around the letter and the mode are going to turn into white. On the left there's a connected transmitter, on the right there's the free channel. Now, after hearing the quality of the embedded in the transmitter microphone, we're switching to the lapel mic. Over here, I've, I've lost the wind muff already. There's another one in the package, but I haven't taken it out. So, one feature which is probably better than what we can find on the Holyland device is this lock mechanism that you have above the microphone. So, even if you pull it out, try to pull it out, it just won't go. Of course, that uh, gives you the chance to somehow tear the wire, but the wire here is a lot thicker than uh, the one on the love mics for Holy Land and uh, the other device I'm going to show you in just a minute. The Boom XD combo by Comica does just as good as the Holy Land device in terms of recording and capturing each transmitter on a separate channel. This is controllable, however the volumes in each one of the inputs are not that easy to adjust. You have to press the volume buttons for switching between 0 and plus 12 dB. Not perfect, but good enough most of the time. Disadvantage is the lack of quick compensation for more than a few decibels within a second, but a few presses of the button and it's pretty much done. The latency here is around 20 milliseconds. Not great, especially given the fact that the first generation of Rode Wireless Go has about 5 milliseconds. I think Comica could have done slightly better in this direction. Range is up to 50 meters, but Sadly, I found out that if they are not directly visible, there's a great chance to get drops even if you're a few meters away from the TX. I was super hyped about the microphone set and it badly failed me during an interview session outdoors. It was an area full of interference and it's true that most of the time the speakers were, you know, keeping that behind their backs, meaning that there was no direct visibility, but within just a few meters I think the range was supposed to do a better job, still with direct visibility and if you avoid areas with too many devices working at the 2.4 GHz range, I think that's a pretty good choice. Now time for the last contender and I've just switched to the internal microphone of this, well it's called the Wii One, it's the largest out of these and it looks kind of ridiculous, it's very, it's much heavier and uh, unfortunately I figured out that it's a lot more difficult with this wireless system to adjust the decibel level so I have to play around with the settings inside the camera and uh, this thing is designed by a company called Mirfak and this is their entry-level wireless microphone solution. The Wii One is much simpler than that, it's the heaviest, the ugliest with the least features, the smallest range and the most affordable price thing is that for this device the technical information and documentation is pretty hard to find, it also is hard to purchase, looks like the first batch was quickly sold out so now we wait for Mirfak to restock. In fact the company is owned by Goodsen which are famous for their awesome Moza gimbal line and they target the Mirfak brand towards audio so besides this wireless solution there are other microphones as well. This by the way is already the lovelier microphone connected to the wireless transmitter and, and the love mic looks ridiculously large, <laughs> I don't know, it's somehow weird. Uh, the mechanism feels like the one included with most action cameras, so it's kind of cheap feeling. So that's it, three different good wireless solutions and great alternatives to the Rode Wireless Go 2. Obviously both Comica Boom XD and Holyland Lark 150 cover most of the features that the Rode microphones provide, but in my opinion one of these is the much better solution and that is obviously the Holyland's Lark 150, mostly because of this brilliant case and you just take it out 
and it's ready for operation and it connects right away I can demonstrate to you that in just a moment uh, the status is going to turn into green and right now we can already record we are record ready just within seconds not to mention the convenience that um, there's a box so they're well protected you don't have to think of special places to hide them uh, the very nice status LEDs the low latency and the fantastic build quality and they are the lightest among all these contenders we've just reviewed but the great part is that right now on the market there are plenty of good wireless microphone solutions so the question is which one would you choose and I really hope that this video has helped you a lot in this direction each one of the products reviewed is going to be linked in the description below just need to warn you that by the time I record this video the uh, Mirfak microphone the Wii One is out of stock hopefully when you watch it it's gonna be there so that's it for today and if you have any follow-up questions make sure to ask them in the comment section below and of course I would very much appreciate if you become one of my dear subscribers so take a moment hit the like if you enjoyed and I Michael would love to see you in the next episode bye